Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, here today to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 3 Science Experiments. We've got two, two experiments for this week, and they are number 58 in your Van Cleves called Ground Temperature, and then number 57, Blending. So before we get started, we'll go over our scientific method. The scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. And we're still working on this, learning more about biology, which is the study of life and living things. And when we understand more about life and creation, we can have a better understanding of our creator, God. So today's experiments, I recommend starting with the ground temperature experiment and kind of get that going and then you can do the blending one and come back to ground temperature. So for the ground temperature experiment, you'll need a little shovel and two thermometers and like a white hand towel. And if you if your campus meets in a place where you can't dig a hole, I recommend getting like a bucket and filling it with dirt. And that's where you can make your hole and put your thermometer in. So we may end up doing this at our campus because we can't really dig holes in, in the lawn, but you can get a bucket of dirt and it will work just as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shovel and you're gonna dig about a four inch deep hole in the dirt, you can use like, probably, you know, the length of your fingers would probably be deep enough. And you're going to set one of your thermometers in the hole, and then you're gonna cover the hole or the bucket with your white towel to kind of protect it from the sun. And then you're gonna set your other thermometer right on the ground, right next to your hole, whether that's your bucket or um, in the hole. So you're going to have one out just laying on the ground and one inside the bucket or in the hole. And then you're going to leave them for about five minutes and you're going to come back and check and see what happens. So you can ask the students, you know, what's their hypothesis? Is the temperature on the thermometers going to be the same because they're both outside or is it going to be different and which one is going to be hotter and which one's going to be cooler? So they can um, kind of come up with their hypothesis. Um, so yeah, so while that those thermometers are setting, you can go and do the, the blending experiment. And so in the Van Cleves, it says, you know, to kind of mark out your area. You can, you can do it with the stakes and the string. Um, you could get, you know, you can just mark an area. You can get little soccer cones at the dollar store and just kind of mark out an area and then you'll get um, some pipe cleaners so you'll do this ahead of time you'll kind of cut them into small pieces and so you'll do that ahead of time or you could even use like little pom-poms if you find some pom-poms that would kind of blend into your area um, you know if you end up you can't do this one outside if you have like a lobby area or a larger area in your building like you could find um, pipe cleaners that maybe blend into the color of your floor like gray or brown or you just want to we're going to be talking about camouflage so just find some colors that might blend in well with the area uh, where you're going to spread these out so have a parent or the tutor um, spread these out on the ground in the area that you've marked and then set a timer you could use your phone for five minutes and have the students as a group try to find as many of the pipe cleaner pieces as they can. And so kind of maybe have a, a, a number of how many pieces of pipe cleaner you start with and then count how many they, they find and see if they were able to find them all. And you can ask them questions, you know, after the five minutes are over and they found everything or think they found everything, ask them, you know, what colors were the easiest to find and which ones were harder to find and why. And um, so you can, once you come back in, inside, you know, after you finish both experiments, you can talk about, um, you know, this Nicolium has a really great graphic showing some different animals and 
how they blend into their environment. And so God made their colors and patterns and textures so that they can be disguised and be camouflaged into their environment to either to protect them from a predator or, you know, to attract prey because they don't know that the predator's there. And so um, God, God gave the animals this camouflage um, to help them um, in their environment. So it's, it's better for them to blend in than to stand out, you know, if, if that's the case. So you can talk about that and why, um, why God created them that way. And then once you're finished with the blending experiment, go back to your thermometers and make a note of, you know, what, what does the thermometer on the ground read? And then quickly take out your thermometer from the hole and read that one. So try to read it as quickly as you can after you pull it out of the hole because it'll start warming up. But see what the difference is. And you'll probably notice about five degrees difference. And so talk about, um, ask them questions. Do they know of any animals who live in burrows under the ground? And ask them, well, what is a burrow? It's like a hole in a home that an animal lives in underground. So why would some animals want to live underground? And you can talk about the desert animals. Here's another graphic from the Coleum. And this shows, you know, some animals that live in burrows. How about the desert animals? Um, the sun's rays, it makes everything it touches really hot. And, but if you can get underground, the sun's direct rays can't, can't touch that. And it doesn't make it so hot. It's cooler, um, underground or inside of a cave. And so a lot of animals take shelter during the hottest parts of the day in burrows, um, just to stay cool and for protection. So God, God made them in a way where they can dig those burrows and talk about, you know, their, their physiology. And so they could dig underground like a mole. And, um, so it just keeps them cooler during the day. So, and they come out when it's cooler in the evening or the night. So those are two really fun experiments and you can, there's some, um, flexibility with how you want to do it, but I hope that this helps and we'll see you guys next time.